What's up guys and welcome to a new episode of Zen for Living with me, Avery Campbell. Whether you're new or old, I welcome you. This podcast is about life and all its lessons, self-development and much, much more. So buckle up for a good time with me. Follow me on Instagram at AVZ Campbell, that's Aves Campbell, or Zen for Living for much more insights on my podcast. Stay tuned and thank you for stopping by. Good morning, good evening, and good night to you wherever you are in the world, and welcome back to a new season and a new episode. I am back. It's been a while. I literally just was like, nah, we have always, every day I want to record, I have things I want to talk about and let out, and I was just like, let's just do it. Whether you have something to talk about or not, let's just see what comes up. And ironically, today's topic, which is taking things day by day, has become the theme of this era of my life. Because, you know, that's the modern day of saying this time of my life. This era is the theme is taking things day by day. And I'm in my 20s just for some perspective. So, you know, I have not been on this earth super long or super short, you know, and I believe that this generation you know takes things on emotionally uh, more than a lot or the other generations i should say you know and so we have sped up our timelines for ourselves as regards to accomplishments and you know once upon a time you'd have little girls saying oh wow i want to get married by this age Once upon a time, you'd have men saying, I want to be rich by this age, or I want to have a home, or, or, you know. And so you'd be like, okay, girls usually have kids at 20, 20, late 20s, going into 30s, ideally. Some go off the grid and go a little earlier, you know. And for men, it's really here nor there. They could have it at, they could have a child at 70, that type of thing. But like now, The dynamic of life has changed, in my opinion, and um, you are able to disagree, disclaimer. (laughs) Nothing here is necessarily a fact for, you know, just a fact fact. It's mostly my opinion. So take it easy on me if you disagree and go to the Instagram and share your thoughts. I would love to dive into your your thoughts if you're playing devil's advocate. So yeah, so I believe that the timeline for everyone has sped up. Like now we have people getting rich through several means earlier. We have social media, which provides vast information and data that we see and use to compare our own accomplishments against regardless of us, you know, being aware of it or not. We, we, we still see it. We still consume that information and that content and it it puts a little pressure on yourselves you know regardless of if it's a lot of pressure or it's a little pressure it is some form of pressure upon yourself and i recently moved into my own place and i'm telling you like i had a five-year plan um this is a part of the five-year plan but i moved in a bit sooner than i actually intended to um and i just kind of just exhaled after a while and said okay that's just life let's just go with the flow um because this is not something to hurt you this is something um kind of like growing pains and gains at the same time and i started looking around and i was like no one none of my friends are going through this and i think i put that pressure on myself i was just like all of my friends in the age range of 20 to 27 or older live with their parents what the hell am i doing and i event i sat down with my dad's friend that actually gave me the topic i'm not sure if i mentioned that earlier sat down with her and all she had to say is hey avery you have to take things day by day and we dived into it and talked about what does that mean and you know how do i take things day by day because i almost feel alone and separate and apart from everyone so if i go and i'm like oh my god i can't go out because 
I have rent. I can't buy food on the road because I bought groceries. So it makes more sense for me to use the groceries and the gas that I bought. You know, it. I'm just like, why me? <laughs> and, and, and with that, I was unable to appreciate this new space um, initially. And that's just with everything. And th- that taking things day by day, slowing down, looking around and appreciating what you have is just an approach that I believe is essential to every everything in your life. I got closer, in my opinion, to God coming up to me, moving into where I live right now, into when I was looking for a home. I got closer to God. I was just like, if you believe in God or anything, you know, I this is what I did. I said to him, hey, this is your show. I am just here. I'm just an actress out here doing what you need me to do. Use me. Um, and with with me requesting that, I really was just unsure of what he wanted to use me to do, where he wanted me to be. And I had to slow down and tackle what was in front of me. And some people may be like oh wow you still have to plan yes you have to plan you have to plan you have to look ahead you have to think long term you have to you have to budget you have to have ambition to be at x place at x time in your life however in the process of getting there in the day to day um life like actual life where you live you have to breathe in and breathe out and make decisions that are best for you which include taking it easy on yourself emotionally which include understanding your goals and pushing forward because sometimes for example my sister my sister has a a vidcast i should say named sports latte definitely not sponsored just full full support to her so it's the sports latte and obviously it is sports centered and she felt demotivated this one day and she was just kind of frustrated because you know with small initiatives that are developing into large initiatives you need capital and she was stressed about capital and in this year as well um, I learned to ask for help and that's the information I imparted on her and I was like okay we have to write everything down um, shout out to Auntie Narda who also facilitated this within me where she was just anytime there was something to do that felt unattainable she put it down on paper for me she showed me how attainable it is you know and we have to do that we have to look and say okay we cannot see the future you know we cannot see where sports latte is gonna go we want sports latte to have merch we want it to reach here so how do we get there I mean, we kind of write down steps and these are these are things that we know if i'm being honest with you but for this specific generation that that almost feels like we're in a race you know you can easily feel unaccomplished you can easily feel like you're lacking something because we have access to almost everyone's version of their lives that they want to put on the internet and so we have to learn how to filter things out we have to learn how to also appreciate because i find that us saying oh wow this person is driving like they had a competition against campion and um hillel academy which are schools in jamaica um they had a competition on social media i didn't get to dive into it but they were basically comparing the pros of their schools and they were driving vehicles that (laughs) my dad just like is driving a benz now what are you doing with one one would say um in in you know in at Hillel or at you know kids have parking spaces and stuff like that I never started driving until I was leaving school I remember I was in fifth form and and sixth form and I was 
leaving school and during the latter part of high school i started driving right into university and i never stopped driving since then you know so you are saying to yourself how is this happening and i am doing this and you know you have to realize that you have to appreciate that almost to get over that harsh comparison you know because we are humans that compare ourselves to people that we respect or want to be like or to people that are at stages that we want to be at you know so in order for you to fully stay focused and have your blinkers on you have to almost appreciate what you're seeing like oh wow that that's cool you know that's where i want to reach but not dwelling oh wow i'm unable to do that i am less of essentially so it's almost like you have to retrain your mind assess yourself and say okay um like right now for me i have a car that it takes a lot from me however i have a goal to not have that car forever and we i also have to understand that things change eventually so your your where you live changes where you and and that's if you're ambitious because it's for, that's not for everyone because someone wants to some people want to stay in one place for a very very long time right but things do change if you want it to change over time but you have to change the things you do you have to change your perspective you have to change your goals you have to knock the goals out of the park you have to write things down because you know it's not really doing you any good to to stay the same and be the same we're in in an era or a time that you almost have to keep evolving because without that you life makes you demotivated that that's just my perspective you almost have to be um thinking of better versions of yourself and currently i am i am having a problem not a problem but i am i am hmm i would say comparing myself a lot to the version of myself i want to be and that drives me but sometimes i have to I have to slow it down because i expect to reach here at x time and and at x time if i'm not here where the hell am i and stuff like that and we don't want that we don't want it to negatively impact us it's okay to compare yourself to the better version of yourself or to the version of yourself you want to be but you have to be realistic and i think realistic is very very important and it's something being realistic is something my job my job taught me like without me wanting to be to learn that my job taught me my job taught me that yes you may want bells and whistles you may want um these things you may know that you can afford to do these things but will it happen based on the processes that it will take to get there and you have to then reassess your decision and say okay i know that this is most likely to happen and even if this isn't this is more realistic and more attainable and so every single day you have to kind of become this person that is ambitious but not pressuring is um goal oriented is uh what's the word is assessing yourself right but not assessing yourself to the point that you are demotivated and stuck and and you fall into this black hole of just feeling worthless i'm telling you because in in this time as i said earlier you have access to so much so many people's lives or version of their lives that they put on the internet and it's it just kind of seems like wow you're not really doing anything i have a lot of friends or people internet friends that are having babies that have houses are taking pictures of kids and i'm not one to share like i i moved in i didn't share share that with the internet i, I don't know why i would do that um but um there's a lot of people that do that and you're like wow you know i live here 
and I used to live with people and I would be like, oh wow, I, I can't fathom moving into somewhere. And yesterday I broke down in the supermarket. I called my friends, I called my boyfriend and I was just like, um, this adulting thing, uh, it's a lot. I, I did that. <laughs> I did that. I was just like, this adult thing is a lot. And I wanted, I went back in the supermarket and I was like, okay, I started putting things back because I was just like, nah, this bill going to be high and I need to pay my rent next Saturday. That's exactly what I was saying to myself. And I wanted to break down in tears. And my boyfriend was just like, nope, that can't happen. Keep pushing. And that's exactly what I did. I mean, I called him after the fact, but I did exactly what he suggested I should have done, you know, and not break down in the supermarket because how is that going to help? Um, my sister would say to me, well, fake it till they make it because, you know, who wants to who wants to do that? <laughs> who wants to break down in the supermarket? No one. But I had to be I had to literally change my perspective. I was like, girl, if you buy flour, you're not going to buy flour tomorrow. So if your bill comes up to X, it's it's gonna last you you know and it also made me reapproach how i'm gonna buy groceries and i had to be like okay so these are better to buy x place or these are better to buy wholesale downtown whatever the case may be i had to do that to be like okay everything will be fine and the money will come back because you're ambitious you have a job and you also are creative so i had to do that <laughs> you know, because if I dwelled on it up until today, I'd be in the house unpacking the groceries and crying. <laughs> yes, so we have to take time with ourselves, regardless of how strong we feel, regardless of how tough we feel. We have to take it easy on ourselves because we, our souls, our beings are so precious and very important or should be very important to oneself um and another thing we have to learn to decompress we have to learn to unclench our jaws we have to we have to do that to to be to sustain all the energy all the the drive within us even if it's a little drive we are only able to sustain it if we don't suck it dry <laughs> right so for example yesterday i went out with my friend um kevoy shout out to kevoy and i'm telling you but prior, this was after the supermarket he was just like let's just go to an arcade it was in um in jamaica it's, it's called buzzers and i was just like oh and he was just like you know what fuck it let's not go anymore because my energy was all over the place and i was just consumed with oh my god you know, I needed to move this bed. I needed to go to the supermarket. I spent X money. I wanted to come and see my sister. My sister drove off and never told me. And I was just like, what the hell? And then the rain was falling. And I was just like, you know, this is this is a lot. And he was just like, all right, let's just not go. Let's just not go. And then, long story short, we took a big breath. Well, not we. I took a big breath deep breath and i was just like this has nothing to do with you Kevoy. why are you changing your mind <laughs> you know he's just like the energy is just not right the energy is just not right and i was just like i've never been to this place this arcade maybe it will do me some good but we'll never know until we go and so i had to put all of those feelings that were not helping me because i would have went home unpacked the groceries probably cried unpacking those groceries and i would have just I would have just kind of not had a good time like I did because I decided to go, went, went and did laser tag. I was laughing till my temples hurt, you know, and life just kind of worked out in such a way that I never had to worry that much. And then I got dinner afterwards, Kevoy sponsored dinner, sponsored a good time. And, you know, you just need to accept things move past things and also decompress so that's that's a piece of advice i would love to leave um and to close uh i told kevoy this last night after we came back from the arcade on our way home 
I was telling him, we were talking about a different situation, and I was telling him nothing is new under the sun. So a friend told me that, right? And another friend also told me that life isn't unfair. Because if it was, you'd be the only one going through exactly what you're going through. But what you are going through is not new to life, to to humans, to to someone at your age. Someone is going through that or worse. So I had to tell him that last night um, to help him gain perspective on what we were talking about. And I'm going to end this podcast with that advice. You see, if you are in university and you feel like crap and, you know, my sister just changed from full time to part time and had a little pressure, you're not the first, right? You're not the first. So you have to prevail. You literally have to prevail. Excuse the background noises, but you have to prevail. If you are in a job and you're on the path to getting to the top of where you want to reach, and you are getting some form of pressure. Remember, this pressure is not new. This pressure has been there. Anyone in your position that is trying to go where you're trying to go would experience this or has experienced this. So you have to press forward. You have to prevail. You have to exhale, breathe in, breathe out. Take things day by day until you reach your destination. Because my love, I am in my new home right now recording at 9.35, well, 9.32 um and i'm telling you new year's day of last year new year's eve of last year i should say i did not actually see this or at least it looking anything like this my life that is and i have gained some new friends i have had a job that i never imagined being having i've I have separated from a lot of people I never ex- expected to. Um, and I've also experienced so much more emotionally than I've ever done before. Right now, I'm crying about groceries, guys. <laughs> I'm crying about groceries, you know. I moved out of a place where I feel like I'm not even missed. And so it's it's just new, you know. And I just have to breathe out because sometimes we're just looking at things or trying to find a problem with something we are just trying to give us ourselves an excuse to to give up almost you know and we have to give ourselves an excuse to not give up we have to love ourselves and and that's that's a new thing as well that has been the center of my life to love yourself so in all decisions love yourself trust god if you believe in him hopefully you do (laughs) and also decompress chill out get a grip (laughs) you know so that's all i have for you today i hope that you enjoyed this episode um it really came from what i'm experiencing right now so i hope